And the fate of six teachers remains unclear as they appeal racketeering convictions from the decade old Atlanta public school cheating scandal. This week, the public defender representing those teachers is expected to ask to be removed from their cases, citing a conflict of interest. Meanwhile, 11 Alive's Karis Belger heard from local activists who are asking for leniency as the teachers' appeals are heard. The Georgia and Atlanta NAACP chapters and the Southern Center for Human Rights today called for the judge overseeing the case to spare the teachers from probation and prison time. More than one decade after more than 170 Atlanta public school teachers were accused of changing the standardized test scores of failing students, the fate of six of those teachers still hangs in the balance. They have been punished, their reputations are lost, they've lost their professions. Uh, it is time for us to move on from this sordid chapter in Atlanta's public schools history. Richard Rose of the Atlanta chapter of the NAACP joined other advocates in a virtual press conference. It comes one day before attorney Steve Scarborough is set to go before a judge in the latest hearing. He's asking once again to not represent the six remaining teachers. No lawyer should be forced into a conflict of interest to represent them. The group wants the district attorney's office and the judge currently overseeing the case to go one step further and spare the remaining defendants from probation and prison. Georgia NAACP President Gerald Griggs says the case has not benefited any of the students in the district. No children uh, were remediated or, or any of the problems that were alleged were one shown by the evidence or two fixed. Last year, Fulton County Judge Jerry Baxter sentenced Dana Evans, the former principal of Dobbs Elementary School, to community service instead of probation. Griggs and the other advocates are hoping for similar leniency and the focus to be on teaching children in a way that helps them in the classroom. Advocates also mentioned cost as one more reason they hope this case doesn't drag on any further and they're hopeful any appeals can be handled quickly.